our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ has charged his disciples to go and make disciples of all nations. Matthew chapter 28 verse 19. In pursuit of this great commission, the word of God was brought to Tema. As a result, a small band of Presbyterian Christians was formed. That congregation consisted mostly of the indigenous people of Tema. In 1958, Reverend Paul Tetekiche was posted to Tema to nurture the infant congregation. When we came, we were placed somewhere in Site 15. When it started, it was a small number, but he encouraged and then, and then later, as people invited their people, the number increased. So the service held at Site 15 in the house where my father was living, couldn't house them again. So he arranged with Mr. Newman, who allowed him to come and carry out the, the services at the school, which is not far from where we were staying inside 15. And also they had a double classroom, so they could open the screen between, and the whole double room was used as a chapel for the services. So he went on going to the market, to the companies, to the workplaces, where they were having recruitment and where they had the people to talk about church life and tell them that Presbyterian Church is here now in Tema, worshiping at Site 15, so they could come and join us for Sunday services and church activities. Children's service was organized, hymns and songs were taught, and some were translated into tree, a crapping tree, which was popular at that time. And then gone. Following the rapid development of industrial, commercial, and residential properties in Tema, resulting in the steady increase in population, the church also began to experience rapid increase in membership. So many people streamed into Tema, and therefore, as the number numbers increased, the Presby Church and other Orthodox churches like the Methodist, the Catholic, they all came together to make a representation to TDC to give them a permanent site. Fortunately for the Presbyterian Church, one T.S. Clark, an architect and a surveyor, affiliated himself to the church. This Mr. T.S. Clark, who worked at the TDC, uh, and some session members and a group of the youth were preparing the site plan. You know, when you want to build, uh, the first thing you have to do is a site plan so that you are able to locate the corners of the land. So it was during the preparation of the site, site plan, then they observed or found out that the longitude zero degrees passes through the western side or western periphery of the of the land. He became enthused, informed the people and everybody got on board because it is an international um, location, meaning that it is in the center of the world and all that. So he advised the Presby Church to locate, to uh, uh, move to that place as their permanent site so that it will be historical. And that is how come we've got the name Greenwich Meridian. So they moved here and they had to get temporary structures. And they consulted with NBC, Nitric Building Construction. They consulted with NBC, who willingly accepted to put up a church hall a pavilion and a belfry, free of charge. I, I happened to be around when the Meridian Church was inaugurated. Especially the, the entire congregation moving from Mantiding School to the 
first chapel designed by Mr. T.S. Clark, one of my mentors. In fact, it was the very first such occasion in the township of Tema. On 17th September 1961, the church hall was ceremoniously opened and dedicated to the glory of God by the moderator of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Right Reverend Max Dodu. After the dedication of the church hall, the congregation continued to be administered by the session under the leadership of catechist Mr. N. F. O. Newman, with supervision by the late Reverend S. L. G. Ajimfra and Reverend G. Ankara Bedu in 1961 and 1962 respectively. Subsequent Reverend Ministers who were posted here also played their part and in 1962, this small church became a district. It has gained a district status. In February 1962, the late Reverend B.A.K. Loco was posted to Tema as the first substantive district pastor under Mr. N.F.O. Newman. Reverend B.A.K. Loco was succeeded by the late Reverend E.A. Ajay after a four-year term of successful and hard pastoral work. He was succeeded by the late Reverend J.E. Swanika. I joined in 1970 when my father, Reverend J.E. Swanika, was posted to Tema Community 1 as the district minister. At that time, Committee 1 comprised of the following Committee 1 district, now Temanov district, Committee 2 district, Temanahian district, Ashama. This covers start from Tema through Sakumono to Shai Hills, Pram Pram. I'm glad through the nurturing of these congregations by then, they have all grown to, into districts. We thank God for that. Through Community One Presbyterian Church, which is the only church built on the Greenwich Meridian, the whole world wide. Some of us have gained experience in church work. I, with others, have managed to keep the brigade, for example, going up to now. In the same vein, when I, I was a youth, I was part of the YPG, Young People's Guild, for which I believe I was this is secretary, this is organizer, and then look up secretary and look up president for quite some time. We've moved on, and now this is what you see at Greenwich Meridian Congregation. With strong evangelical work, the numbers kept growing at the Greenwich Meridian Church, and a pavilion was added to the church building. This soon became too small, and therefore, a new building was required. People started coming, and in no time, the church began to grow and could no more contain the members and so the plan was uh, mooted and the church members uh, seconded or they supported it and so the new church was built in fact uh, one um, renowned architect uh, mr yu ajete uh, the marine director of plan architect uh, brought this plan, everybody looked at it, and it was so nice, and so it was built. In the mid-80s, when, as an architect, I was uh, commissioned by the then session, headed by the late Reverend Okraku, then I had established my own firm, Plan Architects, and um, this firm was commissioned to do the design for the new chapel which the church is using now. 
it was a privilege and I thought we needed to do the best we could for the church, especially because this was located on the Greenwich Meridian. I knew it was going to be a world acclaimed building. So we wanted to do the best we could. However, I had a little problem with the session. In fact, the other time I had discussion with Mr. Adite and he was saying that his intention or his submission or um, advice was that the church be brought back a little so that there will be enough land in front of the church for future uh, development on the line. But I think that the people then also wanted to get rather closer to the line. But meanwhile, the, the, the church was built and up to now, it's still accommodating us. It has not reached a time that maybe it has to be <laughs> re-expanded or something. Since then, the church has grown from grace to grace under the leadership of the following. Looking at ministers who have taken charge of the church uh, from that time, we can talk of, uh, that is after the Reverend Paul Kiche, uh, Reverend S.L. Ajinfran also came, followed by the Reverend Ankara Bedu, Reverend B.A.K. Loko. After Reverend B.A.K. Loko, we can talk of Reverend Y. E. Ajayi, uh, followed by Reverend J. E. Swanika, Reverend Y. E. Ante, Reverend uh, J. E. Olenu, who is still alive up to today. We have Reverend Nat Okreku, we have Reverend Niteku Dagadu, followed by the Reverend Amwakuma. After Reverend Amwakuma came Reverend Y. Aite Atiapa. After Reverend Aite Atiapa, Reverend Eric Adamaduku, and then Reverend Yu Tati came. During the tenure of Yu Tati, the church found out that uh, the load has been very great on the district. And so the first second minister, who is the Reverend Andrew Donko, now district minister of Komdi Two, was posted here where he had his probationary studies. After that came the Reverend C.B. Oklu with Reverend Frederick Akwele Dawuna as uh, the second minister assisting him. Thereafter came the Reverend Samuel Ate Ojelua, now chairperson of the Dangwe Tongu Presbytery. We had the Reverend Enoch Ajipubi, who is now also the Dansoman District Minister. He was uh, assisted by Reverend Benjamin Kwachi and the others. Reverend Dr. Jonathan Aitemensan, who is now Nungwa District Minister, also was posted and he worked here. Reverend Boyfi Kwate took over from him. There was Reverend Alex Adoyobo and Victor Obobi, who is still here. There has been Reverend Nimensan Ajay, who also had the chance to be elected as a clerk of presbytery, so he had to move only after two or three years, from whom I took over last year, 2018 to date, still working with Reverend T.V. Obobi and the Reverend Kwame Usu Banahene. So there have been a lot of uh, ministers up to now, almost about 15 district ministers and a few second ministers helping to bring the church up to this stage. We are just servants in the hands of the Lord. And we must always thank God for giving us the opportunity to serve Him. So we owe nothing to our credit. We owe all to the glory of God. My prayer for the Greenwich Meridian Church as we celebrate the 60th anniversary of the life of the church is to continue the good work that the pioneers have started. The foundation has been laid like a master seed. Today, we are all enjoying and reaping its benefits. But we also need to continue to work so that those who come after us will also benefit, will also enjoy, will also be able to leave something for all those who come behind them also. Life is like a chain. You finish your part of the race, you hand over to some other people, and that's what we're working towards. My prayer is that discipleship in the days we live in now should be very, very seriously taken and should be done with all intentions so that the church we live up to the expectations of God himself who established his church through Christ Jesus. I was born and bred in this church in 1963 and as a young boy growing in the church 
I have seen how the church has grown in the spirit, with the spirit of evangelism, growing many churches in Tema area. Are you called Greenwich Meridian B? On the occasion of the 60th anniversary of the Greenwich Meridian Congregation, I want to say a big thank you to God for granting me the grace to be part of the celebrations. I salute the founding fathers, CN Nano, T.S. Clark, S.A. Dati, all of blessed memory, and others for the good work they did towards the establishment of the Greenwich Meridian Congregation. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank my parents, Mr. and Mrs. Charles and Felicia Nano, all of blessed memory, for nurturing me in this great congregation. I hope and pray that the love of God will continue to dwell richly amongst us. On behalf of um, Meridian Echoes, we want to wish every member in Greenwich Meridian a happy 60th anniversary. It's a good family and we are glad to be part of it. Um, we want to pray that God be with this church. Whatever we endeavor to do, we pray as a group that we will succeed. We are grateful to God for how far he has brought us. With the Children's Service Ministry, we also want to go far. And what we have now, we say our training are always the best. Greenwich Meridian is always the best. And also, it's a great place to always come and fellowship with us. We look up to all of us to also put our best that Greenwich Meridian will always move far. On behalf of the Men Fellowship, I want to wish you all well. As we gorgeously dress in our quinte clothes and all that beautifully, let us remind ourselves of the commandment of the great teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. We must remember to proclaim the word of God, as without the word, you cannot live. Therefore, I wish you well. May the Almighty God bless you all. Amen. On behalf of the Bible Study and Prayer Group, I would like to wish Greenwich Meridian Congregation a happy anniversary. My prayer is that as we celebrate our 60 years, we will focus on Jesus Christ, who is the pivot of the church. Today marks the 60th anniversary of this great church of ours. Many people have you nurtured. And out of the many people, some have gone into ministry as I am here. I've always been proud of Greenwich and will always be proud of you. Continue burning the flame. Lift high the banner of the church and make this church great and strong. Above all, continue with the kingdom business, winning souls into the church. Greenwich Meridian Safu, I echo join you. Hene ke weba she ne, wajja no, wake tui juno. Afe no fe no ni sa, no ni hi, no ni ja. Ye, nun to le ja momli. Koni, e wawo no, fe boni e wawo no ne. Ni man fe, baba, abayina, ake si leleng. Nun to dente, ji mwani, wabbo u she, mwene o ha. Jackson <laughs> no na ende enya abeyi se ende enya ba betu ye dia yesu e be som na ya ye se ni ese na asiwade enyonyam e do bibia se mesu rade nyira ama asemu ni pa ni titru emran emran te ne mabawo na se won ni mabumu a won so ene adwuma ni nyina ejina praise the lord president church on the green meridian is 60 years old the youth stand up so that you can also be mentioned 
at the next anniversary. Be example of truth and honesty in society. Let your good voices and actions lead to promote evangelism in and out of the church, nation, and to the end of the earth. Nyame Adam, 60 years in here, Nyame Dea Safuye Bidia, Kroduye Muha. The Lord has been so good to us. See, I share the beer, Nyame Dea Bidua, the spiritual life of the church is so amazing. I didn't know my name, 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 60 years, my name, Se nyame edi ya ya bedui. Enye ni penye na ampo ni iti mnye yinti. Ana nya sori nye na. Ana iti mi edun pepe so bi se. It's touched me deeply to see thousands of families coming together to celebrate this anniversary in a happy atmosphere. Philippians 4.13 says that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. As a half president, my prayer is that the youth of today will have their zeal to work in the house of God like the youth of old. I congratulate each and every one and I say are you cool to the oldest in the church. It's a great time coming together to remember where we started and the great things that our great fathers and great grandfathers has done to bring our church to this time. 60 years here has seen us transforming, growing stronger reaching higher there's a new change on the meridian and we believe that all hands will be on deck so that we forge ahead in unity to see this change coming on we are thankful to our forefathers and fathers for leading this agenda we've seen the greenwich meridian growing and we've come to do our part we advise that as we forge ahead and entering into another milestone there will be unity of purpose all hands will be on deck we will move the meridian agenda to a higher level so that like the theme says this year reaching higher growing stronger we will be able to set this agenda to enhance our development i joined the church some 27 years ago and i have seen the church grow both physically and spiritually. I have seen the church having advanced in terms of things that we do now, unlike before, and it is my wish that we are going to see much more progress, both spiritually and physically. It is my wish that up and coming youth will realize what their forebearers have done and take up the challenge and know that the next 60 years, they will be celebrating 120 years to the glory of God. This is my wish for the church. The previous generation has dedicated themselves to do for this church and all the sacrifices that they've made so far. Build on it and run with a zeal, with a passion, with a commitment to grow this church, to make it a bigger church, a church that will go with the commandment of our Lord Jesus Christ to evangelize the nations. Let evangelism be the total commitment of the church. In the month in Baba, who can go, believe me, when I did hang me, but. Wana nene mene aselam na wasafu no ke masin wana mesin ke no hame ayiko wo hun isu wano no wa machano lo wana wana mausin kanje ani mekpa no e ke wo gble mi nganye mi sun ke ka ke pimi ke no jam ka gboje nucho wana musin ka mono li mi no ke ke wo she dai jim ke wo ango ha wonu ncho ni omele aka ko ye no ka je she she ji ya un yo Yana Afi Numepa. She died Jim of Wan Jolly. No look at any swimmer wounding Aji. Shall I let Jacob walk her? A cobble fable, play a here. 
No one bought more than one small money. Because the money is like a okay, you may not go. To what front she? No one is here. You let me. When a ne a share tema committee one, ye green the trend. No, ne a ye a fee, young man, a pa. Ne fata safue, cat dan your washi, a jacket. Henny tema matun to a jelefer tin. Ni nwo ke Yesu Kristo e fan ake a ashe ye he fe he e sa ke jele te ntuntu ni ji tema she mo a je po wa ye je me fa anye ko nya ba mo de nya hie so mo mi nun to le de nche ke nya hisi e jo mo wo ta o no wo no fe no no ba fe e han e jo twi mi nya wo ja mo e hi fe no fe no I salute the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. I salute the General Assembly, the moderator and the clerk. I salute the presbytery officials. I salute the district. I salute the congregation and all members the planning uh, committee who had made this occasion very successful. Be the Lord who has called us to service. Be our guide. The future generation, that is the next decade or two, will have their anxiety, they will have their difficulties. But I can assure them, with God with us, we can always sail. Victory is ours. May the good Lord Bless us in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. These are indeed exciting times on the meridian. And I count myself privileged to be a part of this beautiful story. God has counted me worthy to be a part of it. And as we see the church move from one level of glory to another, bracing the storms that are coming our way, I know that there's no end to what we are able to do. All we can do is to hold our hands together. Even our times get harder and harder. There's a call from above to reach out to the nations with the gospel. There is a call from beneath to go to the relatives of those who have gone beyond this time, who are dead and gone and who are languishing in hell, so that their loved ones may not taste that. And there is also a call from without to come to Macedonia and help. It's our prayer that the Meridian will ready herself, so that we will meet these invitations and reach our nation for good. Shalom. Shalom.